They gave you that book? Yeah, they gave me this book. And I was, uh, are you familiar with this? Mm-hmm. I, I was reading it. Um, I'm not, I'm about 60 pages into it. I'm mm-hmm. not. The, a few things I, I noticed, though, like, I was kind of expecting them to, to at least present a little, a little bit of facts to their claims. And they just kind of misquoted people. Like, um, I got I printed it out. Like, they, they took a lot of things directly out of context. Say, for instance, um, when the, you remember when they're talking about uh, see this in this this publication, I'm surprised they gave you this. Those brochures yeah. that I gave you, we just got those last year. Okay, that's the latest information. In yeah. matter of fact, this newer, or older. Yeah, this is this is an older publication. Oh, okay, like I said, I this came I came in in '87. I got baptized in '87. Yeah, this. Oh, okay. This book has been around since 1985. Maybe that's why they gave it to me because it was older. <laughs> yeah, so I know there's a lot of updates. Yeah. From, from this in that brochure that we just recently got. Yeah, but say when um, Darwin was talking about, let's see, uh, I believe I highlighted it. Um, Darwin, Darwin was talking about the eye. They directly took him out of context. Let's see. If you would, you know, you, it, the, the, it goes on, you know. Okay, so now this is this is what he actually said. Yes. You're telling me. Okay. Yes. And this is from 1996, which is 11 years later. Darwin acknowledged this. This as a problem. For example, he wrote to suppose that the eye could have been formed by evolution. Seems I freely confess observed in the highest degree. To suppose that the eye, with all this interesting, actually, or adjusting the focus to this is for many different muscle lines and for that being formed by natural selection. See, that's what they, they quoted in the book. Is that saying the same thing? You see. And they, they, they did. They left. That dot dot mean that they left some of it out. Yeah. You see, they, it looks like they almost intentionally misquoted them. But the same things with, with uh, Dawkins there. Um, Richard Dawkins. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what that's at, but uh, the yeah the the Richard Dawkins they, they took uh, directly out of context too with this with this preface um to his book um nice guys finished first or, or something like that okay See here, here was the Richard Dawkins one. Um, how 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 did he get here? Uh, let's see. Oh, the selfish gene. That's what what I saw a quote in here. They were talking about his preface where he said, um, "At this point, the reader may begin to understand." Oh, oh, right here. This book should be read as though it were science fiction, and designed to appeal to the imagination. And that, that's what it, it quotes in here, but it goes on to say, but it is not science fiction, it is science. Cliché or not, stranger than fiction, expresses how I feel about the truth. Um, I'm not, I didn't highlight that, but uh, I do remember it was talking about, uh, I'm not exactly sure what that was at, but it, it was in here, within the first 50 pages. But I mean, and that's, that seems intentional. Okay, now only this one right here that you showed me, it yeah. seemed like it's saying the same thing yeah. to me. Oh, <coughs> uh, it is, but it is saying the same thing, but mm-hmm. they, they took it out of context. That means they, you know, because I could say a partial sense to you, and if you don't hear the, 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 the full, full sentence, yeah, okay. it, it could easily mean something else. Okay. It's all about context. So you still have those brochures I left with you? Oh yeah. Could, could you examine those with the let's see with an open mind? Yeah. Which uh, you gave me evolution brochures? No, no. It's one is creation. 
it wasn't a white shower, was it? No, no, no. It was two there, like blue and color. Both of them had pictures of like the universe on them. Oh, uh, yeah, let me see if I put one in. Maybe I, I, left, I may have left it at home. I bring all my stuff and study on the Okay, plane. here's. That's one. Give you that one. <coughs> And do, doesn't that seem seem to you they, they took them out of context? Mm. No. You don't think so? No. But just that the the one here it, did, it didn't say everything, but it did yeah, dot, but, dot, 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 but it was dot. it was obvious that they, they were leaving information out. Because why why wouldn't they put the the rest of this? See, but this is what I said. He said, I freely confess absurd in the highest possible degree. It seems absurd. It seems, okay. Why wouldn't, the, why wouldn't they put just one or two sentences after that? I, I don't know. I'm not the writing. I'm not the writing. And I, I, I still, from reading this and from reading what, what was quoted in there, I would, I would come away with the same conclusion. But, uh, see, I, I took a... Um, yeah, I wrote a, a lot of things down. Um, also, let's see, in the, the very beginning of the book, um, let's see, evolution is this page, uh, page 10, around uh, sentence 8 or paragraph 8. Evolution, as used in this book, refers to organic evolution. Um, they're, they're misconstruing the terminology. That's, that's not the, the definition of evolution is what they're, oh, they're claiming. Here. It says, where, where does it say that at? Page 8. Um, or page 10 right here they're, they're, misconstru they're misconstruing um, the definition of, of evolution it's, it's not see evolution and, um, and life origins have nothing to do with each other and see this, what this does is intertwines that and throws it in as like it's a package but life origins and evolution have, have nothing to do with each other. All evolution is, is explaining the, the diversity of species. Um, see, it, it, um, it implies irreducible complexity of, say, like the human eye. Now that that's been maybe that's one of the, the things that could have been updated like you were talking about, but the irreducible complexity argument of the human eye that's been debunked for years. Let's see. I have it here. It also claims that evolution is a religion, and that again that's a misconstruing the terminology. It's, uh, it's look at this look at this definition. <coughs> okay. Let's see if you. Organic evolution is a theory that the first living organism developed from lifeless matter. Then, as it produced, it as it produced, it is said it changed into different kinds of living things, ultimately producing all forms of plant life and animal life that having have ever existed on this earth. All this is said to have been accomplished without the supernatural intervention of Creator. Some persons endeavor. To blend belief and God with evolution, saying that God created by means of evolution that He brought into existence the first primitive life forms, that then higher life forms, including man, were produced by means of evolution. That is not a Bible teaching. But that's not the biologist definition of, of common everyday biologists that you're meaning that, that's not their definition of evolution. I'm telling you that that's being misconstrued. Okay, so <coughs> and this is this is the stance. Because, I mean, a evolution from. doesn't, we don't have evidence of, of how life got here. We have speculations, um, possibly from an asteroid from another planet, could have been um, amino acids coming together. I mean, th there's speculations, but that's not to say if you believe, you know, that, that humans evolved from primitive an ancestors, that you believe that life spontaneously was, came on Earth. That's two completely different things. So now, what, what do you do with the, the Bible explains? The Bible explains, and, and it's, it's up to us if we want to believe that. It's in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. 
Yeah. So, I mean, what, what evolution is just, ex I mean, things that we've observed, like, say, uh, let me see right here. I mean, we, we've observed, this is a transitional species we found right here. This is a cross between a mammal and a reptile. It's right here. I mean, there's, there's hundreds of transitional species. So, so we've observed evolution happening. But, but, but how, how did this come about just from the start? What do you mean? Just oh, but, but what I'm saying is that has nothing to, to... But, okay, so if God did create, you know, uh, original life on Earth, do you believe that it could have evolved? Is what you're saying? There's no evidence in the scriptures. That's, that's the only thing that... But, I, I mean, we, this is... This is a mammal and a reptile crossed. <laughs> um, I mean, here, here's a list of human um, transitional species. Are I mean, we, we so have. Are, are things still evolving today? Yes. This week? Yes, of course they are. Got it. You, I mean, it's not something that you're going to see because it takes millions of years. So uh, you're not going to be able to observe it. But. This, I mean, I, I, eyewitness testimony um, in the United States court is, is like the lowest, uh, <laughs> the lowest form of testimony. I mean, we don't have to see something to believe it. That's why we, that's why when somebody like, like Jeffrey Dahmer, I didn't see him kill those people. But I can gather with, with the evidence, a uh, collected view that uh, I know he did. You know, and, you know, we, we don't physically, we're not going to physically observe it to happen because it's, it's many, many lifetimes, it's many generations. That's how it happens within generations. And so, so, I mean, what, what about human life? Oh, we, we, we and chimpanzees, such the bonobos that you see today, we both came from a, a more primitive ancestor. I mean, you can even tell with the, the chromosome fusion. Why do we have one less pair of chromosomes than? Our, our, uh, the primates, and why, why is one pair of our chromosome, chromosomes fused? And we have, we've, we have observed, like physically observed, chromosome fusion in field mice in the past 50 years. I'm, I'm, I'm human conception, I don't... That's, 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 that's not evolving right, right that, now. That is evolving. Is it so, say me and my wife, we decide to have a, a child. Yeah. We go through an evolution process. Versus no, it's, sexual it's, it's, intercourse. it's many generations. Say you and your wife move to the, the, uh, the savannah in Africa and you started having children there and you went through 15, 20 different generations. With the sun and the environment, your children are going to start getting darker and darker and they're going to start looking like the more the, the, the natives there. As you can see, like, the ter terrain impacts how animal looks and lives. So, you know, you have to you have to understand first natural selection. This right here, what this process is, and that's like what, what, how I explained with the marine iguana before. How being dark is a beneficial mutation. When you have when you like you and your wife have kids, they're gonna have. They're going to get DNA from you and DNA from her. And then some of it's going to be, you know, just kind of little errors and, and little mutations. Um, freckles, dark skin, darker light hair, different color eyes, um, different shaped fingers. Those, and when a mutation is beneficial, such as dark or light skin, such as the marine iguana, um, it, it tends to, to the, the beneficial mutation survives longer, so it breeds with others like itself. 